Justin Scoggins. Coming off a great training camp, he is very well prepared, extremely focused, and ready to run right through his opponent. This guy has ridiculous hand speed. His opponent is gonna need to keep his chin tucked and his hands up high. Justin Scoggins enters the octagon looking for the victory. McCall, as always, very well prepared, extremely focused, and ready to go to battle. This guy has incredible takedown defense. Out of all the fighters in the UFC, he's amongst the most difficult to get to the mat. Enters the octagon, and he's ready to fight. Our tail of the tape for this flyweight fight. McCall is eight years his elder. Scoggins is two inches taller. The rest is virtually identical. And now with our official introductions, here's Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this fight is three rounds of the UFC flyweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the a karate fighter. Holding a professional record of 11 wins, two losses. He stands five feet seven inches tall, weighing in at 125 pounds. Fighting at a Spartan Burn, South Carolina, Justin Tank Scott. And now he his opponent, fighting at the red corner. This man is a Muay Thai kickboxer, holding a professional record of 13 wins, five losses, and one draw. He stands five feet five inches tall, weighing in at 125 pounds. Fighting out of Irvine, California, Ian Octo Creepy McCall. Now, when the action begins, our referee in charge, Mario Yamasaki. Mario Yamasaki, our referee. Here we go. First round, you ready? You ready? And here we go. Fight scheduled for three five minute rounds. Black trunks for Scott. White trunks for McCall. Joe, he is the possessor of some really powerful leg kicks, and he loves to punish the body. Nice. Nice one, too. Continuing to land his strikes. McCall gets caught by the right. Looking for the single. Wow, that was a quick takedown. He works his way into north-south. In half guard. Working from full guard here. Nice elbow there. Scoggins back in half guard. Right into guard again, though. And he parries it. Oh, very nicely done. He lands a knee here. Scoggins with a good uppercut. And he caught him again. McCall with a big leg kick. Man, he just pushed that punch aside. Strong hook by McCall. Back and forth. Joe, he's looking for the one-punch knockout here. He's got him in the crucifix, and now he's really using his body weight against him. Working for the Americana. And he got it out. There's Beautiful a big left, left hand. hand. Side control. Nicely done.
who will impose their will from the clinch. And there's the takedown. Got it. Great movement on the ground. Very with the right hand. Big shot there. Nice transitions. Oh, Nasty man. elbow. That is rough. He's moved back into side control. This is where those knees to the body can come and play. Slides him over, and nice reversal here. Scoggins with a solid jam. Nice knee to the body, very nice. Take the back here. He's taking his back now. Man, he's got the reversal. One minute. That explosive jab. Look at this. He connects on a nice combination. Trying to shoot. Nice knee. Oh, wow, he completes the suit down, man. Damaging oh, left, left hand. hand. Just skiing off. Vicious haymakers from the top. Really nice movement on the ground. Side control. 20 on the clock! Fifteen seconds remain. And he takes his back here. Looking for the choke, gets the arm out of the neck, pulls him down to the ground. This is nasty. This is really tight, Mike. Joe, he was literally saved by the bell. That was a deep submission. Justin Scoggins is still in this fight as he was saved from that submission attempt late in the round. He almost got caught. If it wasn't for that bell, that could have been the end of the fight. And here we see a wild flying submission attempt here. And here we see that again. Incredible highlights in that round. That was beautiful. Brilliant. Great counterfighting. The stunning Brittany Palmer. Here we go, second round, you ready? You ready? Let's round go. two. Comes out swinging. Nicely done, he slipped the punch. McCall with the one-two. Oh, he hurt him! He hurt him bad! He is going after it here. Oh, big one! He's got him in the crucifix. Scoggins with a good knee to the body. Wow, quick movement on the ground. Inside control. McCall's damage on his body is very visible, and it continues to get worse. There we go, north-south position. Guard. McCall with good connection from the bottom. In the full guard here. <laughs> Going for the takedown here. Kill oh, slam. slam. He's 
in north-south position. Oh, great transition. McCall with a strong elbow to the head. Oh, right hand. Right. Thumping right hand. That's a big right hand. He's got him in a crucifix. Back to north-south again. McCall's inside control again here. Move your position, I'm gonna stand you guys up. Right hand. McCall gets back to side control. Half guard. He got his hips well enough to get back to half guard. Scoggins with a nice strike from the bottom. He went right back to that position. Oh, looking for his back. He's got the hooks in. And he's flattening him out. Excellent movement here on the ground. Trying to get to side control there. Under two minutes. And moves to north-south. Man, we have seen so many lethal body shots. It makes you wonder how he is still in this fight. Going for the north-south choke. Nope, lost it. Now he goes to side control, Joe. Big punch from the bottom. McCall with some solid ground and pound. Working from the mounted crucifix. Good elbow by McCall. He's now working from side control again. He's got the full mount, Joe. Scoggins with a nice punch. Hip escape. Gets out of the full mount. Let's see if he can pass that half guard. Back to full mount again. Postures up. Now he's in full guard. He's gonna try to take the back, I think. Excellent movement and transitions here on the ground. Staying busy. Nice left. He's looking to work that. Mounted crucifix. Wow, that's a hard a shot with hand. the left. In the side control again. Oh, big shot from the top. That'll do it for round number two. This work last round completely dominated him on the ground. We want to keep doing that this round. He's Here's a very nice takedown. Here we see some beautiful striking and perfect timing on this punch. And here you see excellent technique and a big slam. The beautiful Ariani. remains in the fight. Now starting off this round, he might still be hurt. He's going to want to look to be defensive and move and avoid getting hit and try to recover. He's landing a lot of uppercuts. You're absolutely right, Joe. He's doing an awesome job continuing to score with the uppercut. McCall switches stance here. Good jab. Trying to get a single. Grab the leg, completes the takedown. Man, some nasty body shots. And you can see the bruising starting on the left side. He's looking to take the back. Full guard here. 
He lands a big shot from the bottom. And there's a reversal. Scoggins gets it back to the guard. Oh, he sweeps. Look at his position now. Wow. That was a big left hand he connected with. Transitions to full guard. Oh, that one hurt him. Powerful left hand. Beautiful job defending the position. Nice. It looks like he's looking to set up that uppercut. Nice late kick by Stoggins. He can't connect with the kick. Switches one more time to Southpaw. Good kick to the leg of his opponent. They're both landing bombs on each other. Hard hook. Justin Stoggins is continuing to punish that out. Yes, he is. That's a good target for him. He sees the swelling, and it's going to impede his opponent's vision. In full guard. Three minutes remain in this fight. He gets in a full guard here. Solid punch by McCall. Scoggins gets it back to guard. McCall's in half guard again. Into full guard. Perfectly timed sweep. He transitions into north-south. He's attacking with the north-south choke. Let's see if he can finish it. Now he lost it. McCall's really suffered some damage on the left side of his body. He's looking to keep busy on the ground. Caught him with the right. And he's going to try to take the back. Nice knee by McCall. We have 90 seconds remaining in this fight. Scoggins with the left. KO victory. He was not intelligently defending himself. Nice victory. Time now for our fight replay. Let's take one more look at the end of the fight here. This is a vicious series of strikes, ground and pound, that lead up to the TKO. We can see it here from another look. These are clean shots that are getting in over and over again. Ground and pound for the TKO finish. And let's look at that from another camera angle. Bruce Buffer has the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Mario Yamasaki has called a stop to this contest at three minutes, 42 seconds of the third round. Declared the winner by TKO, Ian McCall. Ian McCall earns the victory by TKO.